So guys, today, back for a video on the channel today, and we're looking at Yoshinori Muto and Kei Sung Young going out to the Asia tournament. This will mean they will miss the full of January, and they obviously can't play, so is that going to affect us a lot? I'm going to go through the games that we play in January, because the tournament goes on from the 5th of February. Uh, from from the 1st of January to the 5th of February. Uh, I've got uh, both uh, players the best of luck, South Korea and Japan. Hope uh, one of you do win it, but uh, we'll be looking over the games that they will miss. So in January, we have got a lot of big games. Starting off, we've got Manchester United at home. They were obviously just at Jose Mourinho and... That could be a tough game. Without K as well, it's going to be even harder because he's been fantastic. Uh, and I was really wanting Muto to get a shot. Like, he could probably get a shot in the Liverpool game, maybe, to get that fitness ready for the World uh, not the World Cup, the uh, Asia tournament. But that's the first game they'll miss. The next game is Blackburn at home, which is the FA Cup third round game. I'll be going to that game. Uh, I've already got my tickets booked with my dad. Yeah, I'm going with my dad. With my dad for like the first time in like four years. But uh, they will both miss that game. I'm guessing Kane might not have played. He might have played like Hayden and Diarmi maybe. But Muto could have got a game in that game. Team West London, obviously. After that, we've got Chelsea away. And to be fair, we never get anything at Chelsea. So, I don't know if it is good. We've got like all the big teams in this month. Because I, I don't know if it would affect us. But maybe if Kane was on the side, he could change the game. And maybe get us a draw or even a win. After Chelsea is Cardiff at home. That's a huge game. Cardiff are not the greatest away from home, but the fantastic at home. So I reckon if we can pick up three points from there without K and Muto, it'll be a key result. Key result. Haha. <laughs> no, being shut up. <laughs> After Cardiff uh, Wednesday night game, Manchester City. We love playing Man City on a Wednesday night. For the last three seasons in the Premier League, we've played them on a Wednesday night. Every game. Stupid, but uh, Man City, full of quality. Key played in that game versus Man City, and he was good. We give Man City a good game in that game, and we were probably the only side to give them a good game at home this season. Like, I'm not just saying that as a Newcastle fan, I generally think that is true. Then, after Man City, it's Tottenham, and Tottenham will be playing their first game in their brand new stadium versus us. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but since they were going to play against Man United, which is the week before, I think it will be us, which is huge because they make their debut in the biggest stadium they've ever been in. Not not including Wembley, but their own stadium and the playoffs. Would Key change that game? Maybe. But I am disappointed about like, uh, when I done my video about uh, players who aren't getting enough game time. I mentioned Muto and I've done like a lot of talk about Muto. I am not devastated. I got on the back of the shirt where. Yeah. As a Muto, uh, I am disappointed because I, I, he looks good. He looks really, really good. But with Vondon scoring goals and we now only play one striker without Perez in the team, well, we do what we can. Uh, he Muto would have slipped into that team versus in Cardiff with Muto, then Vondon, without Perez. But the off the kind of play, it's a massive game tomorrow and I'm guessing K will start with Shelby and Jad. And I hope to say Muto, but any people that's going to be in the video, make sure to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you're new, follow all my social media links in the description, turn notifications on, I never ask the, uh, anyone to do that, but it would mean like if you could go and do that, but anyways, thanks for watching the video, and yes, I'll see you at the game tomorrow.